Hey everybody, about it buried here. I'm going to be upgrading some of the coins in my coin books. I got the Canadian pennies from uh, I think what 1920 to 80, 1988. I got my uh, Canadian quarter book 1911 to 52, I believe. Yeah, up to 52. And then I got my other Canadian quarter book. It's a 1870, and it goes to 1910, 10, 1910. So I'm going to be upgrading and filling some of the holes in these books. My penny books, I I do have it completed. Finally, my 22 and my 23 are in slabs. Here is my 22. It's an F12. Not bad for a Canadian penny. Kind of hard to see though. Sorry guys. Yeah. Hope you can see that alright. There's the 22, right? 22, I said? Yeah, the 22. Actually, I got two of them. There's the other one. It's an F12 as well. I got them from the same guy. I just set my new desk up. You guys have been watching my channel from before. I had a smaller one. This one's almost seven feet long. I definitely need it. Because uh, these are my other tables. Just completely, completely full of coins. <laughs> it's a total write off right now. But, uh, yeah. I'll get at it. Oh yeah, check this out. I gotta show you while I'm thinking about this. I found an air an air plate. Okay. <laughs> and I was at my buddy's place and he gave it to me. Too bad we used it. But look at that. Isn't that something? <laughs> I'm actually I'm keeping that. Because he looked through the whole bag of them and he never did find another one. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, these are all my other coins. I thought I got a big mess up. And there's me buddy Boris. Just had his supper. Hey, Boris. There you go, boy. Okay, anyways, where was I? Oh, yeah, back to my... Back to the reason I'm being on here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> a little detour in the video. So there's my other 22. Uh, and my 23. And I got two of them as well. There's my alarms going off. Yes, I know. It's almost time to go live. I got you. I got you. I do live streams too. If you're not familiar with my channel, I like to talk about coins and stuff like that. If I possibly can while we're doing the live. But, uh, a lot of times we don't. We talk about stuff and make each other laugh and tell stupid jokes that are so stupid they're actually funny. <laughs> you know them jokes. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mike. Metal detected NC. <laughs> he tells the most lame jokes, but they're freaking hilarious. Mr. Doughboy, he's another one. <laughs> they're all crazy. <laughs> it's a couple channels you guys should be checking out. Metal detected NC. Mr. Doughboy. Two really good guys. 
There's my other 23. And this one is a VG10. The other one was a VH, a VF, sorry. VF20, which is not bad. That's pretty good. So, like I said, this book is completely done. But I have a few upgrades I want to do. So, if you guys would like to see some of the upgrades I'm going to be doing, I will have a continuation onto the next video. And you guys can check out what I got going on in here. Because if I did all this in one video, we would be here for a long time. And a lot of the guys, people don't like sitting and watching one video for 20 friggin' hours, especially if it's not very exciting. And this isn't very exciting to a lot of people, but then, you know, real coin collectors and people that are interested in coins, yeah, they watch it, they have the time. So yeah, here, well, yeah, here's one right here, I'm going to be upgrading this one. 1936 with a hair. This 1936. Oh, and I got my 1936 dot as well. Where am I? Right here. I don't know if you guys can see the dot on that. Let me see if I can. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Right down here. Right down in between the bow at the bottom you can see that little little dot of silver it's pretty cool and they also have another type it's a, a bar and it has a bar where's my little poker thing I don't know where my little poker thing is this will do but it has a little bar right above that dot that goes across the bows whatever you want to call them things, the ribbon. And yeah, it's like a die crack that goes across up in the little crack there. In the crotch, I guess you could say. Uh, yeah. And, oh yes, and I will be pulling out my, um, my uh, fish scale book as well. Wherever I just put it, I'm not quite sure where I put it. There's one there. Yeah, that's weird. But anyways, I'll be pulling it out as well. Then one over here. There's my large. There it is. Oh, yep. There it is here. And I'll be replacing some of these as well, you guys. Oh, I gotta get rid of that. Sorry. I'll be replacing some of these. I still have several hundred of these. If you guys are looking for any Canadian fish scales, definitely. Oops, I turned you off. All right, continuation. If you guys are looking for any Canadian nickels, AKA fish scales, let me know, because I have friggin' hundreds of them. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. See, this book is completely done. I do have the uh, the O2, the 3H, the, the 8s and the 9s, and the 15. I also have really nice 15 too. You know what? I'm going to show you guys that 15. It is just remarkably nice. There it is right there. Check that out. Isn't that friggin' sweet? Sweet. That is a fish scale. Yeah. That's a several hundred dollar coin right there, you guys. 
and it is smaller than a penny. Kind of hard to tell. But, oh, actually, here's one here by eight itself. There we go. There's a penny. There's the fish scale. Very small, huh? <laughs> really small. All right, guys. We're almost at nine minutes. There you go. Come to my live streams and pick your own prize. <laughs> All right, you guys. If you haven't already, please share this out. Subscribe to my channel. And go check out my live streams. There's a lot of great people that come there. And you can make a lot of good friends. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching and keep an eye out for the next video coming up, the show and me upgrading these. Alright, have a good day, night, evening, and morning. See you later, guys. Thank you for watching.